Hey, going to do a quick tutorial on two tools that I'm using for Command and Conquer Tiberium Alliances. These are third-party user scripts. You can use these in Chrome or Firefox. Use either Grease Monkey or Tamper Monkey. First, I want to show you is the Formation Saver. That's this little button up here. What happens is you hit Save, and bam, you've got a formation saved, and then you just click on it to get it back. So, say I move these guys around here a little bit. I can come hit the save that I had before, and they are back. It takes a second. It's great because if you crash or turn it off or whatever and you're working on the base you don't have to get completely reset up and if you're swatch or hopping around the base to base looking at it for an easy one to hit you can save formations for each one. It's saved on your local computer so if you want to try and attack a different base from a different computer maybe at work or home or whatever it's not going to transfer but you can uh, save a screenshot or something. The second tool I'm going to show you is the battle simulator. Basically it puts this little simulate button here and when you push it, it will let you see what happens. It creates a battle replay of your setup. And you can see we've got stop, play, and uh, accelerate here. You can make it go really fast to see what happens. You can see exactly what happens, which is really nice about this. One, just seeing exactly how far things go. But also you can look and see what units are being completely useless. Uh, sometimes you'll have uh, infantry walk by a nest that you didn't notice and get completely wiped out. And you're like, well, I'll just move that guy over here. Or maybe I'll just turn him off to minimize the amount of repair time. The other thing that this does is this battle simulator box up here you can see these numbers are percentages of what is left after the attack so the defenses will be down to 13.79 percent so basically I'm going to almost wipe it out. The defense facility is going to be completely gone. The construction yard will be half gone and I'll do some more damage to the buildings. Uh, here's some repair time stuff. Say I'm going to I'm, I know I'm going to take out the defense facility, that's good, so that's all I care about on the first hit, and I'll worry about the second hit doing anything else. How can I minimize my repair time? So I've got my overall repair time, four and a half hours. Well, I don't need this guy, he's not going to, you know, if I turn him off, I gain back a lot of repair time, but my defense facility is still going to die, so I'll just turn a couple of guys off until, hey look, I'm still taking out that defense facility, you know, maybe I don't, oh, oh, there it goes, let's turn them back on, okay. Defense facility is gone, and it's only going to take me two hours of repair time instead of the whole four, and then maybe my second hit will wipe it out. Now those are just numbers you can play with back and forth to maximize your damage. Maybe you're hitting a really hard base, you know you're going to have to hit five or six times. Uh, it'll update with each move, so I'm going to try and do maximum damage to the defenses and, you know, the heck with the defense facility. Of course, on this base it won't matter. But let's say we're trying to do maximum damage here just move guys around you can see the numbers up here are changing with each move so hey look I've got them down to 29 percent can I get any better move this guy over here 28 eh, it's a little bit better maybe I can do a little bit better than that you just kind of tweak guys around oh look 17 that's great I'll use that attack so thanks for watching and I will put links to these tools in the description the last thing I want to mention real quick is for this battle simulator you need the API wrapper tool installed also